The officer watched Ella closely, hoping the announcement would bring her relief. For a brief moment, a glimmer of optimism flickered in his eyes. But that hope was quickly dashed as Ella's expression darkened. Her small face crumpled, tears welling up in her eyes. No, mommy doesn't want me, she repeated, her voice so soft, it was almost drowned out by the mall's hum. The officer's heart sank as he realized the depth of her fear and sadness. He crouched down to her level, speaking softly, I'm sure that's not true, Ella. Let's wait a little while and see, okay? But Ella's expression remained one of quiet resignation. Minutes passed, and no one came. The officer's worry grew heavier with each second. He tried to keep Ella occupied, offering her a snack and pointing out the decorations around the mall. But nothing could lift the cloud hanging over her. Finally, he made a decision. Ella, I'm going to make sure we find your parents. You're not alone in this. He picked up the phone, ready to take further steps to ensure her safety. In that moment, it became clear that Ella's situation was more complicated than he had first imagined. And as he looked at the little girl, lost and afraid, he knew this was just the beginning of uncovering the truth. A heavy silence filled the room as the officer and the information officer exchanged uncertain glances. They decided to wait. The announcement echoed through the mall again, but no one came forward. The security cameras revealed only empty hallways, and as closing time approached, the weight of the situation grew heavier. Jason, determined to keep Ella calm, skillfully distracted her by turning their walk to the station into a lively counting game, spotting yellow cars along the way. Her face lit up with joy, a small respite from the looming uncertainty. Upon arriving at the station, Jason introduced Ella to Michelle, a colleague who had a daughter and seemed perfect to provide some comfort. The mention of plush toys in Michelle's office brought a spark of genuine delight to Ella, giving Jason the chance to fully focus on locating her parents. Despite his best efforts, Jason hit a dead end. He searched through databases, checked missing person reports, and ran every possible lead, but nothing turned up. Frustration gnawed at him as the clock ticked on. Ella remained a mystery. Determined not to give up, Jason decided to delve deeper. He returned to the surveillance footage, carefully re-examining every frame for any possible clue, no matter how small. He expanded his search, scrutinizing the footage from different angles and timeframes, hoping to spot any interaction with Ella or someone who might have dropped her off. As he worked, the reality of the situation became more unsettling. Time was running out, and with each passing minute, the chances of finding her parents seemed to slip further away. The empty mall, the silent cameras, and the absence of any clear leads painted a troubling picture. But Jason wasn't ready to give up. He knew he had to keep searching, digging deeper into the sparse clues in front of him. Ella's well-being depended on it, and with every moment that passed, the sense of urgency grew. The mystery surrounding the little girl wasn't just about finding her parents. It was about uncovering the truth of her situation before it was too late. Fueled by Ella's cryptic words, Jason set out to find the mysterious house with blue doors. He calmed through the town's forgotten corners, scanning every street for that distinct shade of blue. The search felt like an impossible task, but his determination to uncover Ella's story drove him deeper into the town's neglected areas. Finally, his persistence paid off. There it was, the house with blue doors, just as Ella had described. But it wasn't the welcoming image he had imagined. The house stood in decay, its windows boarded up, and the garden overrun with weeds. A heavy silence hung over the place, thick with abandonment and loss. Jason pushed open the creaking door and stepped inside, greeted by an overwhelming quiet. The house felt hollow, as if the echoes of a once-lived life lingered in the empty rooms. Dust coated every surface, and the walls, once likely full of color and life, were now faded and peeling. The atmosphere was thick with neglect, telling a story of a family that had left in haste. As Jason walked through the house, it became clear that something had happened here, something urgent, perhaps desperate. 
The rooms, though vacant, told a fragmented tale. A child's drawing crumpled in the corner, a broken toy on the floor. And the fading remnants of a once happy home offered clues to Ella's past. It was as if time had frozen the moment this family left, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. The house, once filled with the sounds of life, now felt haunted by its emptiness. Jason couldn't shake the feeling that whatever had caused Ella's family to abandon this place was far more complex than he had anticipated. Every step he took through the house was a step closer to understanding her story, but also to uncovering a painful truth. Jason knew this place held the key to Ella's mystery. The house with the blue doors wasn't just a physical location, it was a doorway into Ella's past, a story waiting to be revealed, one that might explain why she had ended up in that parking lot, alone and afraid. Dusty toys and small clothes lay scattered across the floor, silent reminders of the child who once lived and played here. The disrepair of the house echoed the turmoil that had likely consumed Ella's family. Broken furniture, cracked picture frames, and an overall sense of neglect spoke to a life that had unraveled, leaving behind nothing but fragments of distress and decline. As Jason took it all in, he felt a deep sense of connection to Ella, unlike anything he had experienced in his career. Her vulnerability and quiet resilience struck a chord within him, intensifying his determination to reunite her with her family. Yet, the more he uncovered, the more questions surfaced. What had caused her parents to leave so abruptly? Was it financial strain, social issues, or something even more complex? The whispers from neighbors about hardship hinted at a deeper, more tragic story. These fragments of Ella's past only deepened the mystery and tugged at Jason's heart, making him realize that her situation was far more complicated than he had first imagined. As he continued his investigation, Jason made an unexpected discovery. Behind a movable bookcase, he found a hidden room, untouched by the decay that enveloped the rest of the house. This room felt like a time capsule, preserved as if it had been shielded from the years of neglect. Stepping inside, a surge of intrigue and apprehension washed over him. Unlike the chaos outside, this room held a sense of stillness, as though it contained pieces of a puzzle waiting to be solved. Jason instinctively knew that this hidden space could hold the key to unraveling Ella's story. The contrast between this untouched room and the rest of the house was striking, and he sensed that it contained answers to the questions that had been plaguing him. Secrets about her family's past, their sudden disappearance, and what had ultimately led Ella to the parking lot might all be buried here. With renewed determination, Jason prepared to dive deeper into the mystery, knowing that this room held crucial clues to Ella's uncertain future. Jason's next step led him to the dusty mailbox outside the abandoned house. With careful hands, he sifted through each piece of mail, noting the senders and searching for anything that could offer a clue. Bills, flyers, and junk mail filled most of the pile, but Jason remained hopeful that something might connect the pieces of Ella's story. Amid the mundane, a set of letters from a local women's shelter caught his attention. This discovery stirred his curiosity, providing a potential link to a support network for vulnerable women and children. The shelter's involvement hinted at struggles beneath the surface of Ella's family, struggles hidden by the house's quiet abandonment. As Jason opened the letters, a heartbreaking picture began to emerge. They were a mixture of formal documents and personal pleas for help, revealing the deep desperation of Ella's mother. The letters confirmed she had reached out to the shelter, seeking guidance and assistance. She wrote of her declining health and her growing inability to care for Ella alone. Each sentence carried the weight of fear and urgency, a mother's plea for help in protecting her child. Jason's heart sank as he read. The letters spoke of a woman overwhelmed by life's circumstances, battling illness and isolation. Her hope in reaching out to the shelter was clear, but it was also evident that she had reached a point of no return. The urgency in her words painted a tragic picture of a woman doing everything she could to safeguard her daughter's future. Through conversations with the shelter staff, Jason pieced together the tragic truth. Ella's mother, 
facing worsening health and limited options, made the agonizing decision to leave her daughter at the shopping center. It was a last act of love, a desperate attempt to ensure someone would find Ella and provide her with a future she could no longer offer. Jason now understood the depth of the sacrifice Ella's mother had made, driven by love and desperation. Armed with this knowledge, he knew he had to ensure Ella's safety and find her the support she deserved, carrying forward the mother's final wish for a better life for her daughter. This final act of desperation and love painted a heartbreaking picture of a mother pushed beyond her limits. Further investigation uncovered another troubling layer. While the shelter staff had little information about Ella's father, what they did know was unsettling. He was believed to have been involved in illegal activities and had disappeared without a trace. This revelation explained why Ella's mother likely felt so utterly alone in her struggles, adding a tragic complexity to their situation. The full weight of Ella's abandonment bore down on Jason as the pieces of her tragic story began to come together. First, her mother's untimely demise, then her father's disappearance, left Ella utterly alone in a world that had seemingly turned its back on her. As the depth of her loneliness and vulnerability became clearer, Jason felt an overwhelming sense of responsibility settle upon him. He couldn't stop imagining what it must have been like for her, a young girl navigating the world with no one to rely on. The thought was unbearable. From that moment on, Jason made a silent promise to himself and to Ella that she would never face abandonment again. He would be the person who stood by her side, no matter what. The more Jason reflected on Ella's situation, the more his determination solidified. The realization that she had lost everything, her parents, her home, her sense of safety, tugged at his heart in a way he had never experienced. He knew he had to provide her with something more than just a temporary solution. He had to offer her stability, safety, and most importantly, love. This was no longer just about finding Ella a new home. It was about giving her a future where she could thrive surrounded by care and support. Years passed, and the echoes of that promise remained as strong as ever. Jason had officially become Ella's godfather, and their bond had deepened in ways he never imagined. Her laughter now filled their home, a stark contrast to the silence and sadness that had once defined her life. But as Jason sat back and listened to her carefree giggles, he often found himself reflecting on the journey they had shared. What started as a mission to reunite her with a lost family had transformed into something far more profound. A new family, one they had built together, piece by piece. Ella's resilience amazed Jason. Despite everything she had endured, she had emerged strong and full of life, and her spirit touched him in ways he hadn't expected. Over time, their relationship grew beyond the roles of protector and child. It became a lifeline for both of them, Jason, who had thought he was the one offering Ella a second chance, realized she had done the same for him. Her presence brought meaning and purpose to his life in ways he could never have predicted. In the quiet moments, Jason often pondered the twists of fate that had brought them together. He realized their story wasn't just about Ella finding a home. It was about him finding something equally important, a sense of purpose he had never known he was missing. Ella had given him a reason to wake up each day with renewed energy, to see the world through the eyes of someone who had survived so much and still found joy in the little things. Looking back, Jason recognized that their journey was more than just a collection of difficult moments. It was a testament to the power of connection and the unexpected ways life can change. The trials they faced, the heartbreak and uncertainty, all led them to something beautiful. Jason had not only provided Ella with a home and a family, but she had also given him something just as powerful, a reason to believe in the transformative power of love. Their bond was proof that even in the darkest moments, hope could emerge, lighting the way forward for both of them. Ella had found safety and family with Jason, but the gift she gave him in return was equally profound. She had opened his heart to the possibilities of what love and commitment could truly mean and in doing so, had changed the course of his life forever.